Smile and learn. Good evening. Welcome to Divisor Diner. Would you like a table for dinner? Oh, hey, it's you who's been helping my brothers. I'm the oldest. My name is Taylor Divisor. I don't want to bother you, but could you give me a hand too? My customers love my olive salad and my famous blueberry tart. But I would like to know if any of the dishes will be missing ingredients. To find out, I will use the divisibility rule. Do you want me to remind you? The divisibility rules allow us to know quickly if a number is divisible by another. That is, if dividing one number by another, the remainder is zero. When a number is divisible by another number, the number that we have divided it by is known to be its divisor. Come on, I'll teach you the divisibility rules for 6 and 12. Numbers divisible by 6. The recipe says that we have to add 6 olives to each salad, so we will apply the divisibility rule of 6, which is my favorite. The divisibility rule of 6 is something special. I love to calculate it as a family. Little brothers! There are 108 olives. To find out if this number is divisible by 6, we have to check if it meets the divisibility rule of 2 and also 3. Let's start with the rule of 2. Windsor explained how to apply the divisibility rule of 2. Remember, we have to check if the last digit is even. Our number ends in 8, which is an even number, so the rule of 2 is met. Now let's check the rule of 3. Do you remember what Connor explained to you? To find out if a number is divisible by 3, first we have to add its digits. Our result is 9. Since the number 9 is divisible by 3, the number 108 is also divisible by 3. Now we know that 108 is divisible by 2 and also by 3. That means it is also divisible by 6. So when we add olives to the salads, each salad will have 6 delicious olives. Numbers divisible by 12. The restaurant's most famous dishes are 12 blueberry tarts. There are 144 blueberries. The easiest way to know if a number is divisible by 12 is to check if it is divisible by 3 and also by 4. First, let's apply the divisibility rule of 3 as we did before. Let's add the numbers. The result is 9 again. We know that 9 is divisible by 3, so 144 is divisible by 3. Look how quickly we figured it out. Now, let us try the divisibility rule of 4. As my brother Trevor explained to you on his farm, we have to look at the last two digits of a number to find out its divisibility by four. The last two digits are not two zeros, so we will have to check if the number 44 is divisible by four. Let's divide. The remainder is zero, so 44 is divisible by four which means our original number is divisible by 4. 144 is divisible by 4. Let's go back into the kitchen. Since 144 is divisible by 3 and 4, that means it is also divisible by 12. Just what we needed. Each tart will be complete. We enjoyed meeting you. We hope you learned a lot about the divisibility rules. They are very useful. In addition, they will also be useful in your math classes at school because they give us many clues to simplify fractions, to know if a number is prime, and a lot of other things. Now enjoy your dinner. 
It's a divisor house street. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.